Hey kiddos, welcome back. It's Mr. Hummer. Uh, today we're going to talk about energy and change of state. I have a couple of paper cups. This one here is empty and this one here has some water in it. I'm going to turn my Bunsen burner on for you. And I'm going to put the paper cup that's empty on my wire gauze here and we're going to see what happens as I Heat that paper cup that's empty. And after just a few seconds, if I can take it off really quickly here, you can see it starts to smoke and the paper cup begins to burn. Got it? All right, let's take that off. Now, I want to contrast that with my paper cup that has some water in it. So here we go. Put my paper cup with water, same thing. And we're going to watch that for a few minutes. And as we watch it, we're going to have a little discussion about phase change and energy. Um, when I change from the liquid phase to the gaseous phase, we learned that that's an endothermic process. Energy is required for that to happen. The reason for that um, deals with the separation of those particles from each other from the liquid phase where they're really close to each other to the gaseous phase where they're huge distances from each other. Um, water, as we learned in class, can hydrogen bond. It's a polar molecule. They stick together pretty well, so it takes lots of energy to pull them apart into the gaseous phase, which will be happening here shortly as I heat it up. Um, as the energy, as the molecules gain more and more energy, they have energy required to separate from each other to turn to the gas phase. That's why I call it an endothermic process. It takes energy to pull those apart and that energy is coming from my Bunsen burner flame. Let's take a look at my water and see what's happening now. Uh, it doesn't look like it's boiling quite yet. Now, if I had a thermometer in here, obviously the temperature would be increasing. We learned in class that that temperature increases until it reaches its boiling point. And then even though I'm adding heat, the temperature doesn't increase anymore. And that's the question I wanted to address today. Why doesn't the temperature increase when I encounter a phase change? Think about that just for a minute. Why doesn't the temperature increase when I encounter a phase change, when it starts to boil until it's all done boiling and all of the liquid's gone? And if you think about it, which molecules are leaving the liquid phase? Those that are close together or those that are far apart? Yeah, those that are far apart, those that have lots of kinetic energy. The high kinetic energy molecules will leave my liquid. What's left behind them? Well, those with less kinetic energy. Well, eventually the entire liquid in this cup will evaporate. So those with less kinetic energy have to get energy, or they do get energy, to turn to the gaseous phase, which they get from my Bunsen burner flame. So when boiling occurs, the high energy molecules leave. What's left behind is always the lower energy molecules. So the temperature, once you reach the boiling point of water, will stay constant until all of that liquid has boiled. That means that the paper will not reach a temperature that's higher than the boiling point of water, which is below the flash point of paper. So let's take a look. Let's see if my water is boiling yet. Looks like it's just starting here. You see a few bubbles. That's the liquid changing to the gas phase. And remember the paper cup, when it was empty, it burned after just a few seconds. Now, the paper cup's not burning at all. Remember, because the energy is going into the phase change, turning that liquid water into gaseous water. The particles that are always left behind are the lower energy particles, those that have the lower kinetic energy. The higher ones leave, they're out of there. They're gone into the atmosphere. We're always leaving behind the lower kinetic energy particles. Now they eventually get enough energy as I add heat to evaporate or to boil, to turn from the liquid to the gaseous phase. That prevents the paper in the cup from reaching its flash point where it begins to burn, which is well above 100 degrees Celsius, the normal boiling point of water. So this has been going on for well over four minutes. My paper cup still hasn't burned. I'm take a look and my water is still
starting to boil there. It's getting there. But I think you get the point. Okay? So to go from the liquid phase to the gaseous phase is an endothermic process energy is required. The reason the temperature doesn't increase at the boiling point is because the high energy molecules literally leave the container. They're gone. We always leave behind the low energy molecules. In fact, if you think about it for a little bit, maybe you could think of boiling as a cooling process because we're always leaving behind the lower kinetic energy and the hot ones, the high kinetic energy. All right, that's it for today, kiddos. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.